This system must be installed by a Summit Automation Certified Installer. Without this certification, the warranty on the system is void. For more information, visit summitautomation.com. Before installing any automation components, the sliding door must be fully installed and working properly in manual operation. Install the motor hardware in the factory prepared frame location. Make sure the pulley is on top and aligned with the sliding door head jam. Secure the motor to the door frame and wall using the provided screws. Begin threading the belt into the head track of the sliding door. It is important to make sure there are no twists in the belt and that the belt teeth are facing inward. Thread the belt around the non-motorized pulley, looping the belt back around toward the motor. Loop the belt around the motorized pulley. Remove the screw on the belt clamp and thread the belt through. Lock the teeth of the belt and clamp together and reapply the screw. Using a pair of wrenches, adjust the turnbuckle until the belt is as tight as possible. Slide the door panel until the hole in the belt lock is lined up with the edge of the door panel. Secure the turnbuckle to the door panel by inserting a quarter inch pin into the turnbuckle and fastening to the door panel. Attach the belt clamp to the edge of the secondary sliding door panel. The control box must be placed within 100 feet of the unit. Plug the corresponding cords from the control box into the motor. Secure the clear plastic clips to the interior jam cover using the provided screws 12 inches to 16 inches apart. This panel covers the motor and faces toward the interior of the unit. Use the provided spacers to ensure the opening is the correct width. Secure the interior jam cover to the door frame using the provided screws. Insert the double barb connector into the groove along the length of the cover. Place the corresponding cover that faces the interior of the unit into place and tap with a rubber mallet. Repeat this process for the other end of the unit. Insert the head parting stop into the top of the unit and tap into place. Once programmed, the unit can be operated using the touchscreen panel. For more information about automation systems, visit colbywindows.com.